guys, this is Bill Cable and I'm back with another video and today we're going to be doing our operation today. We started it about 5 hours ago and it's not going good. Um, have you, if you have a look here, we've got 7 attacks left on these 3 bases, which are extremely hard. Um, this is we, we went for 175 when I'm not actually sure what the name's called, but it is hard. Um, some of these are have been fairly chunked at. Um, they've, they've, they've had a good. Some people have had to give a good bash at it. Some other people actually. Well, let's let's have a look. Where's one of these battles? Look at this. Someone actually done this in our clan, which is quite quite shocking. Look at this. They done one barrage, two barrage. And they ended it. There's one person that done that. Let's see if there's another person that's done that. Oh, here we go, another one. One, two, a barrage, another barrage, a few cannons, and that's it. I don't know why they're not laying their troops. It just doesn't make any sense because that's their attack over. They should at least have a, at least give it a chance. But at least they done something, at least they didn't do absolutely nothing. So, um, the base I'm going to attack right now is going to be a wee setup for the rest, the last seven people. This is, I'm using heavies, one boat of riflemen and three boats of zookas. And um, my main problem is, actually this is what we're going to be using here. We're going to be attacking this base here. Um, the main problem is going to be these rockets, because I want to set this up. I want to try and get most of these rockets away and most of these cannons, so it leaves like a loop. But the problem is, I think I could bar like barrage and artillery these three rockets here, and then this one here. But the problem with this is, um, they're going to leave these two here, which are always going to be a problem. So even if someone does go attack the base, these are always going to be attacking. So if I just try and do as much as I possibly can to this base. I don't want to use all my artillery to start because I'm going to be left with no flares to get my troops up to the back. So I really need to watch out how much I, how much gumbo energy I use here. So here we go. Wish me luck. Right, here we go. Um, we're going to use an artillery here. Take that one out. Barrage on top of this. Artillery this. Artillery this. Artillery this. Right. I'm not actually sure what to do now because if I artillery that I'm gonna have four four things left right I'm just gonna power in go right up to the top right come on then flare straight towards that shock bombing this Come on, boys. I think my Zookas are going to get absolute shredded here. Come on. Now, let's see if how much um, damage we can do here. If we just hammer into this. If we can get as much energy as we possibly can. Just do as much damage as possible. We've lost all of our all of our heavies now. This is not looking good at all. I oops it is it. That's someone messaging me. This is gonna be a disaster. If I can barrage this, maybe, for someone else, 
That is an absolute disaster. How hard is that base? I gave it a good attempt, guys. Hopefully the next person that attacks is going to have a better time than I did. Um, people will be able to view my attack now. Oh, someone else. Thomas is attacking right now as we speak. Let's spectate and see, see what he's going to do now. Let's have a look. What is he doing? He's going to... Right, one artillery shot on the, the cannon. He's laid all his troops up there. He's flared as po as far up as he possibly can. To that corner. And I think he's going to try and cut it in. Because I think these... Oh, I can't look, but... These range will only go to about... Uh, if you had a look, um, they were only getting attacked when we're in the sort of around where my um, Zookers were. So it's still going to be a huge problem for them because these are very high leveled. Very, very high leveled rockets with huge amounts of boost with these uh, two ice spells. So what's he doing? He's going in for the rockets, I see. He's going in for the rockets. He's going to try and take them rockets out. Which... This could go horribly wrong. This could go horribly wrong due to them mortars, but here we go. I think he's going to struggle due to the fact that them rockets are going to hammer at his... Oh my god. His, the rockets are going to hammer at his Zookers right now. He needs to just get that rocket down quick. He needs to get that rocket down as fast as he possibly can. The riflemen are taking most of the heat. Come on. Take that rocket out. Wait, that's that last rocket out. He needs to flare away, he needs to flare away now. I personally think he should flare away. Or just take that mortar out. Oh, he's just gonna... Yeah, he's flaring away, he's flaring away. He's not gonna get much done now, I don't think. He's done a good hit, he's gonna good... Maybe... Is he just without a range? Oh, I thought he'd maybe just be out of range of that mortar. I mean, let's see if that last Zooka can do some damage without that mortar firing. He has got one Zooka firing on this base. I think he's going to wait the two the two odd minutes out, and the next person that does heavy zooks or whatever like that could, um, in my opinion, take the, the base out. The next person should attack should definitely um, take them take them artillery, the not the artillery, take them cannons out with the barrages and stuff, go heavy zooks, and just absolutely, just absolutely go for the base. But make sure that they're at the same angle as uh, Thomas is right now. So I definitely think that this would be very, very... This, we could do this base.